Welcome to my setup. I wanted to create a space where I would be able to be productive with my content creation and schoolwork, but also where I would be able to chill, relax, and have fun. My setup didn't always look like this. It took a lot of hard work to get here, and I hope this inspires those of you watching. Without further ado, here's a setup tour. In addition to my main desk setup, I have this small workspace area over here. I've even got one of those whiteboard calendars so I can pretend to be all organized. Next to that is my mouse pad collection. It's definitely gotten out of hand. I need to find a different storage solution for this. I've also got the PC case from my first PC build, the NZXT H210. Yeah, that was not a good PC build. Next to this workspace area is one of my pegboards that has some of my mechanical keyboards. Just some words of advice for anyone interested in mechanical keyboards. This hobby is a very expensive rabbit hole. Be careful. Above my main desk setup is another pegboard. At the top is a Sabre from Sap Neo. Below that is my mice collection. Then there are some switches and some containers, and then some headphones that I never use. They just look cool. Next to that pegboard is where I have my Sony a6000 mirrorless camera. It has a 50 millimeter f1.8 lens and is connected to my Elgato cam link so I can use it as a webcam. Below my camera is one of my fake plans that I've had for a very long time. Behind that is a Govi Flow Plus light bar. I've got another one behind my main monitor and these add some nice ambient lighting to my setup. Speaking of monitors, I have two 1080p 144 hertz IPS monitors. One is a 24.5 inch BenQ monitor and the other is a 23.8 inch Asus monitor. These are both mounted to a monitor mount from Arctic. At the top of my secondary monitor is a monitor light bar. It has different settings for brightness and color temperature, and it also shines some nice lighting on my PC peripherals. The mouse I use is the Glorious Model D Wireless. A lot of people hate on Glorious products, however I've had an enjoyable experience with this mouse. The mouse pad that I use is the Glorious Elements Fire mouse pad. This is a hybrid mouse pad, so it's supposed to give you both some speed and control when moving your mouse. My keyboard is a Varmillo Manilo keyboard. It has Gatoron G Pro 2.0 yellow switches, which I really like. They're a very smooth stock switch. I use a white coiled cable that has this cool aviator connection. Behind the coiled cable is the Wave XLR audio interface. This is one of my favorite things in my setup. I really like the tap to mute feature. One of the more underrated things in my PC setup is the SE Dynacaster microphone. Not only does it look really good, but more importantly, it sounds really good as well. Holding up my microphone is the Blue Compass boom arm. It's a really sturdy and high quality boom arm, and I'm a fan of the built-in cable management. As for my PC, it's more of a mid-range PC. It has an i7-10700K, 32 2 gigabytes of RAM and an RTX 3070. I'll put all the specs up on the screen. When it comes to RGB, I think this specific PC build looks better without RGB, so I usually have the RGB turned off. As for my desk, it's the IKEA Carlby countertop, which is being supported by two IKEA Alex drawers and an IKEA Olav leg. This desk is really sturdy and I've had no complaints. Next to the Olav leg are two trays that I use for cable management, or rather try to use for cable management. You might disagree with me, but sometimes I think that perfect cable management is kind of over. Rated. To the left of my desk, I have a cart that I use for storage. And on top of that cart is a PC that I don't use. It has a Ryzen 7 2700X, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 1660 Super. Should I let it sit there as a room decoration? Should I give it to my brother? Should I sell it? Should I do something else? What should I do with it? Last but not least is the chair, and I've been using this basic office executive chair for years, and I still find it quite comfortable. I don't plan on getting a new chair anytime in the near future. And that was the setup tour. If you have any questions about my setup, or you have recommendations for what I could change or improve, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing because I'll have more awesome content coming soon.